There's something about the act of writing that feels both intimate and global at the same time. It's been my way to be in conversation with myself, but also conversation with others who came before me and others who will come after me. My name is Felicia Pride, and I tell stories with words and images. I am a writer, director, and producer, and I'm the founder of Honey Shop. Honey Shop is dedicated to Black women 40 and over in front of and behind the scenes. <laughs> you know, the moment Beyonce turned 40, I was like, let's go. Particularly from the entertainment standpoint, honeys are having a renaissance. From Cheryl Lee Ralph, to Angela Bassett, to Niecy Nash. There's something that happens when you turn 40. There's a certain level of self-awareness, I think, that happens. There's a certain level of agency that you want to pursue. And so I think this is a, a community that has incredible influence. I wanted to see more honeys, that's what we call our audience, move into the industry, but also tell stories because I think we have a unique perspective, life experience and wisdom that I want to see more of. Hey, Ma. Hey, baby. Well, that was quick. Wasn't he supposed to take you out to Columbia or something? Huh? Who wants to go all the way out there? So Look Back At It is about a single mother in her 40s who gets her groove back with the help of her teenage daughter. Look Back At It is loosely inspired by my mother, my sister, and my niece. And the core creative producing team, all black women. Our post team is all women. It, it was just an amazing outpouring of love and community and support that you know, really makes you kind of spoiled, right? In terms of how you want set to feel, how you want your projects to feel. I did not grow up knowing black women writers in that way. It seemed very lofty. It did not seem like something that I could could do, could pursue. I remember the first time I actually ever said I was a writer publicly, I was in Jamaica and Harry Belafonte was at the resort we were staying at. He introduces himself like we didn't know who he was. And then he's like, well, what do you, you know, who are you and what do you do, young lady? And I said, I'm Felicia Pride and I'm a writer. And he was like, that is a very noble profession. And I was like, ooh, okay. This writing path, this writing journey is important. <laughs> it's very important. And then when I actually became a writer, it was a dream come true, but the practicalities of it, in terms of making a living, sustaining a career, were very difficult. So I walked away from writing. It's probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. I stopped using my gift, and it took me a long time to get back to that gift and realize how much bigger it is than myself. And since then, I am all in. <laughs> You know, there's, you are not, never going to find me not writing. For me, the creative process is so sacred and it's also the only thing that I can control. And so I derive the joy during, during the creating part. I love candles. I love to kind of set a mood. I, I typically write in my office, which is a place that has, I feel like by ancestors, both my creative ancestors and my familial ancestors surrounding me. The main mission of Honey Child is to help black women get free, to be able to see images of themselves complicated, figuring stuff out, returning to their authentic selves, taking on challenges, taking on risks, choosing themselves so that in our real lives, we're able to do the same. There's absolutely freedom in storytelling. There's freedom in um, embracing our stories, right? Not just to say it, not just to try to put it on screen, but to actually live it. When a woman is able to own her story, there's a certain level of confidence that comes from that. There's a certain level of pushing past all the conditioning and the things the world has told you. There's a certain level of reaching back right to those who are going through what you've been through there's just a certain power that has a domino effect when women start to own their stories